Hello, my friends. Uh, I, uh, this is my second uh, video of uh, Chef Baba. Uh, and as you hear from the background, the, the music in the background, it's uh, going to be Greek night. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much for everybody who subscribed to my channel or liked my Facebook or share or whatever the case is. Thank you very much. Uh, today, our menu is uh, chicken souvlaki. Uh, with uh, Greek salad, Greek pita bread, and tzatziki. Uh, we're gonna start uh, with uh, show you uh, by showing you how to make tzatziki. You usually buy it from the store for a small insert. They charge you like uh, six, seven dollars, whatever. Here you can have it much, much cheaper than that, and properly done. So, what do we need to make tzatziki is here we have the ingredients, we have uh, dill, I'm going to show you exactly how much dill we need, crushed garlic, some salt, black pepper, and a little bit of white vinegar, you can't see it here, but, and uh, uh, usually we use uh, pressed yogurt for tzatziki, but since we can't buy it uh, in, in the store, so what we do, we, uh, we buy labna, which is very, very close to, it's very thick yogurt. And because it's very thick, we just uh, make it thinner with, by using yogurt. Any yogurt you use, I found in my fridge, Greek yogurt, which I always have in the fridge. So we, I will show you the ratio between them. So, and uh, cucumber. So, uh, we will be doing uh, this amount, which is about 500 uh, 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 milliliter. Yeah, about this container of labna uh, and uh, half the amount of yogurt and for that we need half cucumber so this cucumber and as we say if you remember from uh, the first segment I don't want to show you again that we put towel in the bottom wet towel or damp towel we put uh, uh, we uh, use the knife like this we hold the cucumber with those fingers like this and this finger is a protection gear okay and we cut it we put this one here and we take the plastic by holding the cucumber like this and very thin you see and we peel it voila Now, the cucumber, what we're what we gonna do with the cucumber? I'm gonna show you right now. Put the knife here. And this is a cheesecloth. You can use even a, a, a towel or a rag, clean towel, a rag or anything. And you shred it like this on the thick and the wide holes. And you go back and forth. This is the one which very important that you have to do it. Just watch your fingers. So always hold it from the top and put a little bit of pressure, not so much pressure because you don't want to slide and you hurt yourself. Okay, when you get to toward the end, you, you get all of it. And you fold it nice and tight as you see here. And I don't know if you can see me, but I try to squeeze it to take all the water out. Very important, otherwise the tzatziki will be watery. Because the cucumber retains so much water. And you put pressure, you know, squeeze it well. Take all, as much water you can. And... That's it. We have the cucumber here. Okay. Now, get the labna. And as you see, it's very thick. And the tzatziki shouldn't be this thick. So we're gonna add yogurt. And 
and we, we add half the amount of whatever we put labna. Usually <coughs> they put uh, here in the restaurant, they put sour cream. I don't like sour cream. I like, I prefer to put yogurt. A little bit more. And you keep the eye, so just to have it a little bit creamy, thicker than creamy. Okay, and that's about right. Now, we add the cucumber, very simple, you know. We add the cucumber, uh, it's about a teaspoon of dill, dry dill. This is about five cloves of garlic. The tzatziki is garlicky, so. Hmm? garlic and you put like half a teaspoon of salt maybe quarter teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of vinegar or lemon okay and you start and you will see that you will have a beautiful creamy Greek tzatziki and you keep mixing it till it's homogenized. So everything goes all over and you mix the yogurt with the labna. Very, very simple. And this, the life shelf of tzatziki is about two weeks. You can keep it in the fridge for two weeks. And you can have it with whatever you want. You want to have it with potatoes, you want to have it with meat, you want to have it with whatever your heart desires. Okay? Hmm. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna cover it and put it in the fridge. And it's... It tastes, it tastes better in the fridge because all the garlic and all the ingredients Okay, voila. So uh, we have the tzatziki in the fridge. Now we'll uh, start the second step, which is uh, to have the uh, souvlaki ready. So we have the chicken breast, as you see here, boneless, skinless chicken breast. And I have the skewers here. And uh, those are the ingredients for the marination of the meat. And that's paprika oregano leaf, garlic powder, black pepper, and salt. Very simple, and I will walk you a uh, step at a time and how much we're gonna put uh, on this. Now, we're gonna cut uh, the chicken as we, we cut first the tender. You get the chicken breast as it is here. Uh, for this size, I usually cut in half. Okay, you run your knife like this, and Usually I go two at a time, but for you I'll go one piece at a time. I start with a thick piece, and this is what you need. It's about an inch each side, okay? It doesn't matter how much you cut it, but don't cut it so small. Try the last piece, the end of the, of the, of the piece here, to cut it a little bit bigger, because it's getting thinner, thinner, and thinner. So here will be equal to the other pieces. So we'll go to the other piece. And the tender, usually, for this size, I'll cut just in half. And have another nice piece. And the same, I'll go faster here now. This is a bigger piece. As we say, hold the chicken breast with your hand like this. I'll just make it more details so you don't hurt yourself. Cut it and run your knife all the way down and start with this one, about an inch. This, this, this can get like five pieces from each half. Two, and if you have difficulty, you just here, you get the tender out. You cut it in half. And 
I start putting them here because I'm running out of room here. Hmm. And the tender, as we said, cut in half. We get to the last piece. Just be careful with the knife. It's fine. Okay. Now I put those guys out. My knife. I cut my. Wash my hands because they're gonna put. And as you see, uh, I forgot to mention you to you uh, last time that uh, all this filming and the editing, uh, and I want to thank thank my amazing wife Pina, her idea, her my Christmas gift, my Christmas gift, and her idea uh, of uh, doing all of this. Because she believes in me and she believes on, you know, helping others and share with others all the nice recipes. And uh, so big thanks to Pina. And we go back to work, okay? Give me one second. Here we go. So, we have the chicken, which we cut here. I'm going to get myself a teaspoon. So, I'll show you exactly how much I need. So... For this amount, which they were about four, uh, there were four chicken pieces of chicken breast. The salt, which you need, which is about full teaspoon of salt, about the same. I like it. Have enough black pepper with the chicken. It's another teaspoon. Garlic powder. Another teaspoon. Oregano. It's basically about a teaspoon of each, except of paprika, you put just like a half teaspoon. It's just for color. All right, here we go. I get my marinade in olive oil. Not so much, just to here, and we mix them so all the spices they go everywhere and as you see they're all ready to go usually what we uh, what we do we keep them in the fridge for a few hours um, and after we start putting them on the skewers, or you put them on the skewers and you put them in the fridge before you put them in the grill for uh, probably four or five hours. Some people they put them overnight. There's no uh, rule for this. But uh, for the video today, uh, we're gonna do them like right away. Okay? We will uh, put them on the skewers and put them in the grill. So I'll be back, right back. Just let me wash my hands, I'll be back. So we start uh, putting the chicken on skewer. Uh, try to put it lengthwise. Like instead of putting this way, put it this way. Straight in the middle, watch your fingers. Usually for large amounts, like when we have like at the restaurant, we have sometimes like four or 500 skewers to, to do. We soak them in water. So this tip doesn't split. But for a few, we just be, just be extra cautious. So the same story, you don't put it this way. Put it lengthwise and try to have the middle and here the same story like you don't put it this way should be very easy process when you and you put in each be in each uh, skewer maybe seven eight pieces so that's the one and this is the one basically which you see it in the supermarket and they sell it for like five dollars or four dollars whatever here
one more just be careful not to poke your hand and sometimes you have to like if you see it's sticking like this you just turn it a little bit so it makes you penetrate the meat and go through it okay and here we go that three and As four, I was planning for six or seven, but I'm I'm putting more meat, so it's fine. Doesn't have to. You don't have to do it this fast. Take your time. Uh, here and here. So we're getting two, four, five, and one more six and six, and again. It's like, as we said, feeding a family of, uh, and and this is half, family of four, with four piece of chicken breast, with tzatziki and Greek salad. Now I'm done with this one. I will go. Uh, I will I'll let it sit for a few minutes. But in the meantime, I'm gonna wash my station, disinfect the whole area here, um, and uh, go back to the salad. So I will be doing the salad while the chicken is cooking. That's time saving, okay? But very important that when you are done with the chicken, with any kind of uh, uh, chicken, you have to disinfect the whole area. So you clean everything, with soap and hot water, and you you go with a um, little bit diluted Javex, chlorine, very minimum, and you run through the surface or any disinfecting uh, agent, all right? That's very important. And be sure that all of your hands and every area which came close to chicken, whatever, is clean. All right. I'll see you later. All right. So we have the chicken souvlaki here. We have the uh, this grill. Usually I do the chicken souvlaki on the barbecue on a or a fire pit in a beautiful summertime. But now in winter, you can do it whether on this. Uh, this grill, which you can just heat it up on the top, on top of the stove, or you can put it uh, in any other way you want, even on a frying pan, uh, as long as that it's not longer than the, the, the diameter of the of the frying pan. So because all the chicken has to be sitting on the heat. So as you see here, start it's it's very hot. You can see the smoke is coming out. So we put them put them here on high heat. later you can lower the heat we go back to the station which I'm doing the Greek salad uh, for the Greek salad what I need some onion tomato cucumber and green pepper I don't want to make so much salad so so we start with cutting the onion like I showed you in the first video I will cut the onion here Make a cut here and 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 clean your knife. And as we said, always this side is the one which you have it facing your you, and the other, the sharp one, is facing the outside. You never hurt yourself. So the onion cut in half again the first because you want it all roughly the same cut so you don't want in the beginning to cut straight like this no you turn your knife let it here let it here okay so this piece is not larger large like the other one okay and you keep going here 
the tomato. You get the tomato, you cut it in half, in uh, you shave it, cut it in half, another half, and you go one, two, three. If you fi find it still raw, cut it in half, one, two, three. Cucumber. Remember how we talk about the cucumber, how to clean it? And in the meantime, as I'm doing the salad, I'll go turn the souvlaki so it doesn't burn. As you see, beautiful color. And I can lower now the, the heat on the stove. You want all the surface facing. I lower a little bit and I will go back to do the salad. This is just in case you are in a rush and you have visitors or whatever and you don't want to waste so much time, you know, from one, you have to be multitasking, you know, doing this and doing that or whatever, so instead of spending like three hours, you spend half an hour. Now, the cucumber, I have to wash it. And again, you hold it like remember before, you hold it in the bottom, tight, you make half cut, and you go half moon. Half moon. Okay. And go to the, we put all the ingredients here. And you go to the, the green pepper. The green pepper, you cut it this way. Okay. Okay. And you go, that's tricky and needs a lot of practice, but this is the way we do it at the restaurant for more efficiency. Cut it in half, and if you want, some people they cut it as chunks. Uh, for me, I like it like I did with the, with, the, with the onion wedges. The same with this one. Here. This is our Greek salad, and it's ready to go on the plate. And those, you don't waste them. The same story. Cut them. And voila. Your Greek salad is ready to be ready. I'm going to wash my hands and come back to the chicken to like it. <laughs> and as you see here, I put them sideways. So I put them on this side first. I put them on this side first. Now I put them from four sides. So I let them sitting on each other so they get the heat. Okay. As you see, the chicken is almost ready. Nice, beautiful. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I heat up a little bit. I have a this you buy them at the store, they call them whether, uh, uh, they call them nine bread. If you can't find Greek pita bread, so nine bread, it's a bag of ten. You can buy them at Costco or any other uh, store. So I heat up a little bit of oil, put it on high. In the meantime, I keep the eye on the chicken. And I can say that the chicken is ready. I turn off the stove. Be sure that all the pieces, they're cooked, especially the one toward the end. Because usually, like this one, you see it? Those are cooked. This just needs a little bit more, so you just squeeze it. Push it down, and it's ready to go. Something I, uh, I have to mention to you, that after you put the raw chicken here, you have to change the plate and the tongs. You don't want to to bring the raw chicken to have this one uh, uh, contaminated with the chicken and go back to the cooked chicken. So you put them away and you bring a new one, or you wash them and you put and you start all over with clean one with no raw chicken. And now those are are ready and the pita bread is cooking. I have to I have a plate for it. 
you want it because this is cooked already, but you want it soft and crispy. So I put a little bit of olive oil. It's not frying the pita bread. It just fast fried. See? You put this in the stove on high and you cook it. Have the chicken ready. As you see here, when you get to this color, it means it's ready. As you see here, the chicken comes out of the grill or the barbecue or the bonfire or whatever, kind of dry. So you want to give it some moisture, but in the meantime, give it a nice flavor. So I'm adding there, I will show you exactly what uh, I'm adding. It's uh, oregano, rosemary, uh, uh, lemon, and olive oil, plus salt and pepper. And as I put on the plate, I drizzle a little bit of this. Okay, now uh, we are doing the dip. For the for the chicken, so I have like five cloves of garlic, and I put them in this one to crush them. It's better crushing them so you get all of the flavor of the garlic than chopping them. Uh, I forgot to mention to you: if you want, uh, you can you can chop the garlic for the tzatziki instead of chopping them. You can just crush them like here. It will be more garlicky you don't have so much chunks. It's preference, there's no rule. So as you see here, excuse the sound, the noise, but uh, I can crush them without, without noise. So, I crush all the garlic here. And uh, I add uh, one lemon, as you see here. Here you add like half a teaspoon of rosemary, a little bit of salt, not so much. Usually in a restaurant they put chicken base soup, you know the powder, the chicken base, but here I don't, uh, I don't ever uh, use it, it's all chemical. So I say that eating at home is the healthiest way to go. Uh, I put a little bit of uh, black pepper and maybe uh, half a teaspoon of oregano. And I add my olive oil. Almost the same amount of lemon. And I mix them very well. And as you see, very simple, very healthy, very good. And I add it in this one. And this is ready to be added on top, drizzle on the, on the souvlaki. Now, <clears throat> I have it here ready. I have a spoon and I have the Greek salad. I have the plate here. Which we're gonna demonstrate the whole thing. I want to do the four plates, I'll do just one plate. So, I take one pita bread. I can cut it on four or eight. Okay? We have the Greek salad, the mix is here. And we put it here to be equal of tomatoes, onion and green pepper. And there will be one more tomato here. And we have the feta cheese here. You don't have to cut by knife, it's soft, so you can just add it to fill up areas which you want to have a nice melody. Now we'll add some black olives. Same story. It just the look has to look beautiful, you know. Okay, we add 
we add we drizzle some olive oil and a little bit of oregano and voila this is your Greek salad you have your pita bread nicely plates plated here and we leave a room for the chicken souvlaki in the middle which we will bring it here and very gently you pull the skewer out like this very gently without disturbing the salad or the pita bread and I put it here, the light is better here. And as we say, if you remember this, uh, this dip, we mix it a little bit more, so all the garlic, rosemary, and beautiful plate as you see here not beautiful me beautiful plate beautiful plate delicious oh the dick sorry remember the ziki which we had before Put enough because it's not only for the the chicken souvlaki but it's also for the pita bread and here we go put one olive here if you want and we drizzle some oil and and that's your meal for tonight well tonight for us it's too late but for you, tomorrow or any time, you can just enjoy this beautiful meal. Well, that's it for tonight. I thank you very much. And I hope uh, you will enjoy it. And again, don't forget to subscribe or share or like or uh, uh, anything to make this channel you know, uh, successful. Uh, my reward is that you will follow my steps and you'll enjoy your meal, and this is what I'm asking for, nothing else. Thank you very much, have a good night.